What's going on my Turner Club? Today we're gonna check out the Genesect Burn Drive Counter Guide in Pokemon Go to make sure you guys are ready and prepped to take down Genesect and hopefully get you guys 100% IV in Pokemon Go. So welcome to the Trainer Club. Here we go. Welcome back everybody. Let me know in the comments below, how did you do on Ho-Oh? Did you guys get yourself a shiny? Because we're already changing raid bosses. I know it's extremely fast and some of you guys may be like, man, I really wish we could have a little bit more time with Ho-Oh. So some of you guys may have had a shorter period of time based on you being somewhere else in the world. However, one thing that you could do is be in a Discord or remote raid group, such as what's in my pinned comments below, and make sure to raid with people that are in the United States. And if you really want the longest amount of time, I do believe that Hawaii is just about one of the last people that will have the Ho-Oh going because it is now switching over into Genesect with Burn Drive, which is gonna go on January 5th and not 1 p.m. Pacific time, that it's then gonna switch over into local times, keep rolling out into the future, and it's going to be Genesect holding the Burn Drive. And another thing I do wanna mention is originally I thought, since they did say Genesect, I was like, guaranteed, it has to be a shiny, but, Pokemon Go did update us that the Burn Drive Genesect will not have a shiny encounter. The Genesect with the Burn Drive is going to take over raids, not at the 1 p.m. Pacific time, it's going to take it over at Tuesday the 5th at 10 a.m. all the way until the next Tuesday, which is gonna be January 12th at 10 a.m. local time too. And the Genesect will be holding the Burn Drive. So Genesect does get a couple different drives, it is not gonna change the typing, it's just gonna alter what it's going to be able to use. There are a total of four drives for Genesect that are going to include Burn, which is fire, Chill, which is ice, we have Douse, which is water, and we have Shock, which is electric. So it looks like we may be getting more of the Genesect drives, obviously, because we are only able to catch these ones. I don't believe that we're able to change the drives that you're gonna be having for these Pokemon, but it's going to then give you a move set with the move Techno Blast. If you guys do wanna check it out here, the Pokemoners have already put out a mind information about this move. That Techno Blast will switch depending on which drive Genesect you do have, and since this is gonna be the burn drive, the Techno Blast is going to have the fire alteration of Techno Blast. Genesect is going to be a bug and steel Pokemon. The new level 50 100% IV is going to be 3791. It is a little bit more heavy in the attack category than it is in the other categories, but it's still relatively even keeled. And since it is bug and steel, it, is, it only has one weakness. The one weakness is going to be fire, and it's going to be a double weakness because the steel and the bug are both single weak to fire in combination is gonna make them double weak. And as far as the resistances go, double resistance on grass and poison, single resistance on bug, dragon, fairy, ice, normal, psychic, and steel. And moving on to the 100% IVs because we all want to know that, it is going to be 19 at level 20, every condition except two conditions. So it's a steel as well as a bug type, which is gonna have boosts in the rainy weather for the bug and the snowy weather for the steel, which is then gonna put it at a 2395 at level 25. It's going to get two quick moves, which is gonna be Fury Cutter and Metal Claw. And as far as the charge moves, it's going to get Flamethrower, X Scissor, and Magnet Bomb. And then obviously with the new drives, it's going to have Techno Blast, unless they really change something up, which wouldn't make too much sense because it's already been mined by the Pokeminers right now. And then as far as how many players it's gonna take for you guys to take down this Pokemon, 1.3 trainers under regular situations. So it is doable. However, just realize that that's gonna take you a little bit longer. It's gonna tax some of your resources. So one thing you may do is have a little bit bigger parties, but yes, it is doable. Pretty relatively easy because 1.3 trainers is definitely not even close to that too. So duo is definitely possible. Maybe even solo, we might see it in this time frame, which then is gonna lead us into our counters. So what are gonna be the counters that are gonna make up? We're gonna start off with the shadows as always, and then we will move into the non-shadows. Megas are included in both of them. Number one counter is going to be the amazing Mega Charizard Y with Fire Spin and Blast Burn. The moveset, Calm Day, has to be the Blast Burn to make it this effective. It's going to be 322 seconds, which is crazy. And also, it's going to have only eight deaths. So Mega Charizard is going to be the one in the Y form that you guys are gonna to wanna to use, which then is gonna lead us into our Shadow Pokemon number one, which is gonna be Moltres. Fire Spin, Overheat combination, that Pokemon is a beast. 363 seconds with 11 deaths. And then we're getting into the Entei. Entei is coming in next with Fire Fang and Overheat combination in the Shadow form. So now that we have all the Shadow forms, we're now gonna move into the non-Shadow forms. Megas are still included, obviously. Number one, since Mega 
Charizard Y was in the shadows as well, beating out all of them. We now have counter number one, still gonna be Mega Charizard Y, which is going to double resist bug and single resist on the fire as well as the steel. So that is something to look into. 322 seconds, and then counter number two is actually gonna be Mega Charizard X, the dragon typing. It's gonna shift up the resistances a little bit. This one is going to double resist fire, single resist bug and steel. So if that Pokemon is gonna be one you wanna do, that one does have 11 deaths, so three more deaths than does the Y counterpart, as well as 380 seconds compared to 322 seconds. So the Y is definitely the premier mega choice, and obviously since you can't have two megas at the same time, definitely choose the Y. And if you don't wanna do a Charizard mega, you can always do the Mega Houndoom, Fire Fang Flamethrower combination, 386 seconds, a little bit more deaths, but this Pokemon is usable and it's still gonna do a lot of work. Which then is gonna lead us into our number one counter, non-mega, which is going to be, will you be able to guess it? I think you can, Reshiram. Reshiram is an absolute beast. External of these shadows and megas, it holds a lot of weight and still relatively competes with it. It is going to have Fire Fang as well as Overheat combination. With 397 seconds, so a little bit higher, 322 is gonna be the premiere at the Mega Charizard Y, but it still does a lot of work and it's still gonna be a viable option for our party. And then we're getting into the Jandalore with Fire Spin and Overheat. This one does have a double resistant to bug and it's also single resistant to fire as well as steel. However, the only downside is that Pokemon is just slightly glassy, so do be a little bit cautious using that Pokemon, but if you have one maxed out, that would be a good one to use. And then we have the Darmanitan, in the fire form, Fire Fang and Overheat combination, followed by the Blaziken with Fire Spin and Blast Burn combination, and then in the next counter, we have Heatran, which is gonna be the next raid boss, which is kind of weird how they always seem to like slightly miss the mark on which one's coming out first to help counter the next one, but it's going to be Fire Spin and Flamethrower on that Heatran. That's gonna be a Fire and Steel combination Pokemon. So that Pokemon in specific will be neutral to the Fire Techno Drive, which will pose a little bit of problem, but not too much. And then in counter number nine, we have Moltres with Fire Spin and Overheat, followed closely by the next legendary of the Fire Form, which is going to be Entei with Fire Fang and Overheat combination. And then we have some starters in counter number 11. This is gonna be the non-mega version of Charizard, Fire Spin, Blast Burn combination. And then in 12, we have Infernape with the exact same Fire Spin and Blast Burn. Both need the Calm Day move to make them that effective. And then we have Flareon with Fire Spin and Overheat combination, followed by Typhlosion with Incineroar and Blast Burn, which is a Calm Day move. So guys, if you really wanna start going down, we've already listed a bunch of counters right now. They're all relatively easy to have, and Charizard being up there since it's had a Calm Day, it's had a December Calm Day wrap up. Definitely pause here if you wanna check out any of the other ones, but we can really try to stay towards the top and definitely use Megas in there as well if you guys are, and if you need some candy, Mega energy for your mega Pokemon. Make sure to just put that Pokemon as your buddy and walk it because then you can accumulate some mega energy. And since it's only relatively pretty cheap now, 40 mega energy to evolve for eight hours on most Pokemon, it's pretty easy because if you walk three kilometers with that Pokemon, you get 15 mega energy. Walking that three times for a total of nine kilometers is gonna give you 45 mega energy, which will be a full eight hours having that Pokemon out as a mega, which is a little bit of walking, but is definitely feasible because that's less than hatching one regular incubated 10 kilometer egg. So with all that said, what are we gonna do about the weather conditions with Genesec with the burn drive? So as far as the sunny weather, sunny weather is going to be monumentally impactful because it's gonna boost the only weakness that this Pokemon has that's going to be fire in the double weakness. So during the sunny weather, this is gonna be the best time for you guys to get after this Pokemon. Really, really like it and this is also gonna boost the Burn Drive in the Techno Blast moveset. So that moveset is going to be boosted here. So something like a Heatran during that time, even though it's gonna be neutral, is probably gonna get hit a little bit harder. And then as far as the other weather conditions, partly cloudy, no effect. Cloudy weather, also no effect. But then onto the rainy weather. Rainy weather is gonna boost Genesect all the way to level 25. It's also gonna boost its double bug type move, the quick move, as well as the charge move. So that's not really that big of a deal because most of these Pokemon that we're using are at least single resistant and in some cases with the flying combination is gonna be double resistant. And then onto the double typing weather condition boost, which is gonna be snowy weather and foggy weather. Snowy weather, it's gonna boost Genesect again. It's gonna boost the Magnet Bomb and it's also gonna boost Metal Claw as well. So that is something that's out there also, once again, all our Pokemon are relatively resistant, at least single resistant to the steel, so it's not really that big of a deal. And then in the foggy weather, no effect. And finally, we have the windy weather, which also doesn't really have an effect right now. So there's really only one condition that's gonna boost our counters, which is gonna be sunny. And then two conditions, which is going to be rainy weather as well as snowy weather, which is gonna boost the Genesect. So with that said, what's gonna be our primary party makeup? On a 
honestly, every Pokemon in here is pretty safe, except the Heatran is neutral, so it's gonna take a little bit more damage, but if you choose to use it, it's probably gonna be relatively safe, even though the Technoblast with the Burn Drive could definitely hit a little hard on that Pokemon. I'm always just a little cautious on the neutral hitting Pokemon, just because it's neutral. When you have resistance and you have higher, better counters, such as the Mega Charizard Y, such as the Reshiram, and usually I recommend that you guys stagger your Mega Charizard Ys, however, since this Pokemon is so weak to fire and you have a big party, if you stagger them, you may not even make it to your second Pokemon spot. If you have some Mega Charizards in counter spot number one. So everybody go with Mega Charizard Y, counter spot number one, and that's going to be the best place to do it. Because then, after this Burn Drive Genesec, we're going to get into Heatran, which then does have a shiny. So I appreciate you guys being here. Likers, comments, subscribers, Patreon members. Everybody takes the support, subscription, and participation to the next level. I'm going to see you guys out on the next video. Peace. I want to take this time to thank everybody who supports me in every facet. It means the world to me and an extra special thank you to all my Patreons. I greatly appreciate the extra support to continue to allow me to pursue Pokemon Go full time, allowing me to create my daily video uploads in the most timely fashion for everyone's benefit. Plus, I get the amazing experience of sharing my creative processes behind the scenes and raiding all around the globe with select upper tiers. Thank you everybody for being a part of the Trainer Club. You all mean the absolute world to me, and I will see you guys out on the next video.